People around the world recently marked a fairly new initiative called Neurodiversity Celebration Week. The goal of advocates is to challenge stereotypes and misconceptions about the differences in how our brains work. The initiative appears to be raising awareness as more and more businesses, large and small, are being inspired to adopt neurodiversity in their workplaces. ABC's Faith Abube has more. 26-year-old Tristan Ritland always knew from a young age that he was different. Very all over the place. I had a lot of difficulty focusing for extended periods of time. And soon enough, his doctors would give it a name. I'm uh, what they call doubly gifted, which is to say I have symptoms of both ADHD and autism. The thought that those conditions could hold him back years later from his love of computers never crossed his mind. But in college, Tristan found networking, career fairs, and job interviews very stressful, hiring managers unsupportive. I spent all this time developing all these skills, and then, you know, I felt like, you know, the industry didn't really want me. You know, you need a job. You maybe take a part-time job, you're maybe working in a position that is not commensurate with either your skills, your aptitude, or the degree that you <laughs> worked so hard to achieve. Judy Riley is the director of the University of Connecticut's Center for Neurodiversity and Employment Innovation. She says there are millions of neurodivergent Americans just like Tristan, highly skilled individuals whose brains work differently than most. So what happens is expectations for how somebody might behave in an interview or express themselves in an application are meeting with failure and resistance, so they're getting screened right out. A study published in the Journal of Post-Secondary Education and Disability found that about 30% of autistic young adults with post-high school education are unemployed. That's compared to the national unemployment rate of 3.6% for the general population. So this seemed like an untapped talent pool, really. Incredibly untapped and highly capable. Stephen DeStefani oversees Wells Fargo's neurodiversity program. In just three years, DeStefani says they've hired more than 200 candidates, including Tristan. As part of the program, hiring managers were trained on how to interview neurodivergent candidates. It isn't just a one hour interview, half hour interview. You're with them for a full week. We're looking a little bit deeper into uh, what the person as a person brings to the role versus the the eye contact, the handshake. Wells Fargo is just one of a growing number of companies adopting that model. DeStefani says it has proven beneficial, not just for workers like Tristan, but their entire workforce. We've seen significant reduction in skills gaps. Employee satisfaction is up. For Tristan, it's been a game changer. I can use the skills that I have, right, in a way that's appreciated. I can be respected. I can have a career. I can live independently because I have the income for it. Faith Abube, ABC News, Washington.